Hi, it's Donnie from Inside Blackberry. We're here in Amsterdam at Blackberry Jam Europe, and I'm going to learn how to turn the Inside Blackberry blog into an app with the help of Alex and Luke. So let's go check it out. So I've got Alex here to help me out. Why don't you take us through? So what we're going to use is the BlackBerry App Generator. We have a booth here at BlackBerry Jam Europe. We take it with us on the road. But you can go to blackberryappgenerator.com and actually follow along with the steps. It's really easy to do. Uh, we're going to take you through building the app using content from WordPress, Facebook, and our YouTube channel. So we'll go ahead and get started. So what we've done is in the browser, I already have open our blog, our YouTube channel, and our Facebook page. I've also saved to the desktop uh, an icon that we're going to use for the application. And I took a screenshot of our blog, and I'm going to try to find something cool in there to use for our logo of the blog. So first step is I hit create an application, and the first thing it's going to let me do is choose the content sources. So as you can see here, I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste in our RSS feed. And what I can do then, I can arrange it different ways and I can show it by a grid, I can show with a featured item, or I can even show it in just a grid with the icon. So for this, I like to use the actual featured version. It's kind of cool looking. When I'm done that, I'll hit continue. And then next, we're going to do the same thing for our Facebook and our YouTube. All right, so once we're done that, next step is actually making the application look beautiful, right? So it's really easy to do. First thing I'm going to do is create the application icon. So I just click icon and upload. And see here, I've selected it. I can crop it change it a little bit. Now for this one I have a white background but usually you like to make it a transparent background so it really pops on the screen. I don't have Photoshop so we can't do it on here but we'll go ahead and save this one. The next thing I'm going to do is change the logo. So For that I'll do the same thing. I'm going to upload that screenshot and as you can see here I can quickly crop down to something that really looks good. And what's great about the app generator, it actually looks at the file that I've uploaded and picks a background color that really works with it as well. So you have the options here of changing the link color, any of the text color, highlights, all that great stuff. Um, or you can let the app decide for itself. So we're just going to leave the, the default settings here and click Next. And the next step, of course, is category and subcategory. So you can see here, I'm going to leave it in the category of news and magazines, but I'm going to change the subcategory to blog, since, of course, the main part of it is the inside BlackBerry blog. Once I do that, I can select content rating, click next, and we're ready to submit the app. That took us probably under 10 minutes. So what's really great about this is that once it's ready to go, um, you can create a vendor account over on appworld.blackberry.com. Once that's ready to go, you just say submit your app to BlackBerry World, and it shows up a couple days later. So Alex, are there any monetization options if I created an app and I wanted to say, you know, have it as a small business on the side or anything like that? Yeah, definitely. I mean, there, there's two ways to do it. One is you can have your app for free and use our BlackBerry advertising service, populate ads in your application. You know, it's, free is always a great model of advertising support because the acquisition of the app itself is free. Um, and then once you're on there, ads generate your revenue. The other way too is just to do a straight up purchase. So anything from 99 cents up. Um, and you just need a PayPal account to get that set up. I mean, it took us less than 10 minutes to create this app, but how long uh, until it actually appears in BlackBerry World so yeah. I can share it with my friends and that kind of yeah. thing? Well, just like everything in BlackBerry World, it has to go through a vetting and approval process. Make sure you have the rights to the content, make sure the application doesn't interfere with anything, and just you know, make sure that the rating is right for your application. It takes anywhere from 7 to 10 business days, and once it's done, you get a notification that your app's ready to post for sale in BlackBerry World. Is there a way we can preview the app that we just created today? Yeah, actually, there's a QR code that you're able to scan with a BlackBerry 6 or 7 device. And we also do another version of that preview for BlackBerry 10 as well. Great, thanks. Thanks to Alex and Luke for helping me create the app. Now we've got it on my BlackBerry Z10 to preview it. So we'll have a look here. You can see the latest post that we've done. You can scroll through. You'll see the video content pulls in. We've also got the Facebook and the YouTube that Alex added. And when you go back to the home screen, on your Z10, you'll see that it pulls in the latest picture, and that's the live frame. Pretty cool. It took us very little time, and it was absolutely free. So now you guys can bring your apps to BlackBerry 10.